Hello and welcome to the 39th tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series. In this part we're going to be looking at playing a music file. We'll be using the source code from the third tutorial. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. So let's just go ahead and open up our project. Actually, before we do that, what we're going to be doing is just adding our music file that we're going to use. I've just got this one here, it's called mainmusic.org. And you just need to add it in the tutorial from our folder, basically where you've added your images or sound effects if you've watched the previous tutorial. Okay, unlike SF Sound, SF Music doesn't preload the audio data, it rather streams it directly from the source. The initialization of uh, music is more direct. This is because obviously a music file can be a lot bigger than, well, a sound file. So let's just go ahead and open up our project now. What we need to do is include the audio header. So we can copy and paste this. And for graphics, I'm just going to change that to audio.hpp. And now what we're going to do is SF music, or not AF music, that's not what we want. SF music. The hell, SF music, call it music. Now that we have a music variable which will play the audio, we need to open the file. So, what we do is if not music dot open from file main music dot org. And in here we're going to put a std c out. Just put an error to the console if it doesn't load successfully. Got butter fingers for this tutorial. Just can't seem to be typed properly. Yeah, it is important to note that unlike all of us from our resources, the loading function is named open from file instead of load from file. Yeah, because the music is not actually really loaded, what this function does is just open it. The data uh, is only loaded later when the music is actually played. It also key. It also helps to keep in mind the audio file has to remain available as long as it is played, which I think is pretty obvious. So now what we do to play this music dot play. Now we can run our application to make sure the volume is full. Volume is now full, now let's just run our application. As you can hear, we had music playing. It was a long piece of music, obviously I have just stopped it by turning the application off. That is it for this tutorial. In the next part of the series, we're going to be looking at extra audio functionality. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.